Welcome everybody, this is Link, and I have a special guest. Xander from Zen Castle Gaming. We are currently here on a map called Cradle by uh, Team Explosion. Yeah, we tried recording this once already, and we didn't have the texture pack up, and my recording software was buggy, and Minecraft crashed. So, I didn't have any audio from it at all, and then Minecraft crashed on top of that, and ooh, puppy. We had a half decent episode there too. Anyway, anyway, house. so house, yes. Here we are. Um, I like this little um, pond. Pond. It's a pond. It's a pond. Very nice job on the stuff around the house once again. That's a nice horse. I like that horse. Um, and obviously, we're supposed to be here talking about the house itself. So, I like the house. I like all the little stuffs on the sides over here, uh, the flag, the chimney smoke, um, they definitely did a better job using, uh, trap doors and ladders a lot more sparingly as more highlights versus in the last map with the kind of longer house, but it, it just seemed a little bit much. This one incorporates it a lot better, I think. Well, I agree with the flag. I don't care for all the extra bells and whistles, all the detail work. For me, it's too much. See, I, I don't know where you're coming from there. I completely disagree, because when I go into Minecraft, I want to see the coolest, like, weirdest-looking stuff. Like, like, somebody lives here, but the guy who lives here is kind of crazy or kind of weird, whatever it may be, and I just... I love this stuff. It, it really adds dimension to us. It makes it look a lot bigger than it actually is. So we might as well go inside uh, House 2 by Explosion. Stay tuned for tons more. And also, if you reuse this, be sure to credit them for it. Yes, you can use a sign or you can mention them or you can do both, which we are, uh, have mentioned them multiple times through this. I kind of like this water column in the center. It's interesting. Um... Definitely. Does it lead to anything? I do not believe so, if I remember correctly. This was the one map I actually went on. Nope, it does not. It's ah. a small air pocket up here. Um, I don't know, I like... See, you don't even like this stuff? No, like, that's fine. It was just on the outside. The it outside? was just okay. too much. Okay, I like this. The only thing that I remember not liking in here is that if you walk into this table, you flip that. Because <laughs> ah. it's powered then. So. <laughs> it gets so kind of, our Minecraft table technology has not yet advanced. No. We don't really have a choice. Unless you were to put carpet there. But it looks nicer as a wood table than a carpet table. Yes. I like the windows though. It looks very nice. Nice view out there. Ooh. Dead horse. Um, I don't know what else to look at. Uh, eternally burning furnaces. It, I guess. Um, very nice little cozy hut thing. And come up here. Oh, they have two mushrooms. Nah, a chest you can fill with stuff. Uh, another chest. I ooh, nice foods. Um, I like that. The use of glowstone behind these things. I think it always looks really cool and. Ah. It's an interesting bed there. Yeah. It's like, it is interesting. I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of like it. If I'm right, though. I like the pattern. Two squares above the bed? I don't know. I don't know. Um, One time I remember something had happened and I died. See, I was watching a video recently and it had the bed completely encased in obsidian. I'm not sure if this bed would work or not. I think you need to have like one of these spots open around it in order yeah. to spawn, like one of these pillars gone. So if you're using this as an actual map, you might want to get rid of the little things alongside of the bed. But otherwise, I, I kind of like the design. It looks nice. Nice shelving unit over here. Uh, I like the pattern on top, though. It is, it is interesting. I'll go over, over, over there real over quick. Here? Yeah. Up. Is that a hole? That's something you might want to patch up. Oh, that is a hole. Aww. 
Darn. Oh well. Block of wood, something. Done. Half slab. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be there, is a half slab. Yeah. That color. Dark wood. Um. Anyway, though, it looks nice. Uh, I like the crafting bench with that in it. It's a cool idea. Doesn't really help you uh, strategically or anything, but very cool. This, this is something I want to talk about. Nowhere in the design do you really see any leaves, but it kind of looks interesting because it's like in the corner and um, it's one standalone piece. But the glowstone and then glowstone over here, oh, perfect, it's kind of going down, or the sun's going down. So if you actually come up here, it's pretty dark up here. And when I was here, I was thinking of ways you could change that. And one of the ways I saw was, or I thought of, was going like that, up at the top. That really lights up the room a lot. Um, or even just putting some here. Because that part of the room isn't really... I don't know. Oh, that is supposed to be like, okay. That part of the room really isn't used for anything. It's kind of just a, a corner. So putting like... Just one down here and putting maybe leaves like that. That might look nice. I don't know. Just some, If you're going to use this map, you might want to find some better way of lighting it. Otherwise, you are definitely going to have a ton of mobs in here. And along with down here, because the only light is from the furnace. And it kind of has that uh, look to it where you could put some uh, torches on the walls you or something. You could even put glowstone at the bottom of the water there. I was actually getting to that next. Um, ah. <laughs> I thought about that already and this block right here was only one thick before and I put glowstone underneath it already. So that way it kind of lights up the room a little bit and at the same time it's it's not visible unless you're right on top of it by doing that. It's It's not too much light. Just a little bit on the ground. Uh, you could move the glowstone up more to there. It gives a little bit more light. Uh, I think two more light levels. But anyway, just some form of lighting in here. It's, it is kind of dark and... It's kind of cozy, but still dark at some times. Um, oh, wow. Something I would have liked to see is, like, somewhere to come out here. That would have been nice. Like, some type of patio. Or not patio. Like a deck or something. Like a place to shoot enemies and stuff? Yeah, something like that. But I definitely think the design is well done, even without that. Uh, that's a modification you can use if you really want to. Oh, you can fly right through cobwebs and create a nice little mountain. There's not really any lore that goes along with this one, but you can make up your own lore. It gives you the option, or it gives you the ability to figure out what you want to do with the map. I could definitely see this in many different areas, um, especially with all those facets on it. If you wanted to put this in a, uh, like a capture the wall or some sort of creative map, mobs would spawn all over these because there's hardly any light. That's a lot of space for them. I could see it being used as a witch's house. A witch's house. I could see that too, yes. Well, let's flop on over to, uh, the other texture pack real quick. I'm going to go to the title so I don't break the game this time. Okay, we're back 15, 20 minutes later and two seconds for you. <laughs> so, I, I got it to load after crashing once again. So, I'm going to have to figure out how to do this without crashing, but I, I like the pond better. These little rock formations are nicer out here. But, actually looking at the real or the actual house itself, um... I don't know if I like it better this way or not. It it still works this way. Personally, I like it better. This way? This version. Yeah, I, it's close for me, but I definitely still like the design. Um, This is nice in here still. Let's, let's actually go in here. Um, Wooden door. The furnace does look kind of awkward with cobblestone in this texture pack. It's not really built for that. But that's not saying that you shouldn't do it or anything. Um, yeah, just that little bit of light is nice. It kind of lights up around here. Uh, still needs more light in here, I think. Uh, especially up here. 
I thought that was a creeper. It scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Yeah, still need some light. Still looks nice though. Yes. Uh, I like the use of the blocks here. Maybe light up there. Um, otherwise, yeah. Definitely still a good map. If you want to do it in vanilla, no texture pack. Although the texture pack is in the description. And you do need to use uh, a patcher for it. Because it is an HD texture pack. I didn't mention this before. But MC Patcher is a good patch. Patcher. MC Patcher is a good thing to use for that. Uh, that's what I use. It's a wall. They weren't supposed to see that. It's okay, they did. The horse left us. Um, so yeah, very nice build. Check it out. Make sure to uh, check out their channel, see their stuff that they've built, look at their other maps, give them credit if you're going to use this, and if you are going to use it, please light it up. Although, we cannot be held responsible for the creepers that have blown up your house if you do not light it up. <laughs> <laughs> that probably not turned out on the thing. I hope it does. I really do. Ooh, I fit. I don't fit. Yay. Okay. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Tune in next time for their next map. See you later.